Welcome back, everyone, to 03FM, 03FM. <laughs> if you say 03FM to us in public, we'll fucking beat you. It's 03FM. We just say 03FM because uh, it's easier to put in manscaped.com, which we're sponsored by, so go buy some shit. Use code 03FM at checkout for free worldwide shipping and yeah. 20% off. Yeah. But welcome back to episode 21, I believe. 21. That I cannot believe it's been 21. What is that? How many months is that? 21, 21, 21, 21. <laughs> it's a lot. Is that... I don't 21 know. 21 weeks. 20, that's <laughs> 20, 21 whole weeks. How many months is four, that? Four something. Four and something. Jeez. Yeah, it's a lot. We always do this. Every I know. Every, <laughs> we always reflect on the last weeks. Like, it's yeah. just not another six days since we we've recorded. Shit. Shit. But, um, yeah. Last episode, episode 20, we did, uh, like, a <laughs> giveaway type thing, kind of, which went really well. Yeah, so if you guys did come in and watch for the codes, even though you probably only watched to get the money, yeah. it was fun. I was in there the whole time talking with you guys. There were some difficulties yeah. with the codes, but I still don't think the second one got claimed as far as I know. Yeah, somebody DM'd us about it, I think. I didn't. I, I know I got the first one. <laughs> somebody, I didn't see the second one, though. Somebody DM'd us about it, and I just didn't reply. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible co-host. So but, does that mean it's still out in I the get, wild? I guess so. But uh, I guess the bitrate wasn't good enough to, to be able to see Because I don't know the if the, for some reason the HD wasn't working. Yeah. And it was too blended in. You couldn't make it out. So <laughs> That's funny. You're, there's a, I would oh. put your hair right now. I don't, um, I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> but um, it's, I'll give you, it's towards the end. Yeah. One was in the beginning. One was towards the end. And it's on me. It's in this vicinity. So <laughs> if you're even watching this, then. Sorry, I just looked at you. <laughs> I have the fucking RPM raceway that gives away my crime rate Kev persona. <laughs> um, but yeah, that went really well. I was literally in the midst of selling an apartment. <laughs> as as I was on my phone though, like checking out because I saw people interacting. I was like, that's it went really well. Um, so you we might do that every like five episodes or so, um, just for just for fun. So yeah, should um, we announce what we're doing next? To kind of get people talking about it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah, for sure. The Wh Why are you talking over here? I don't know, because they can't be hear me as well. Like yeah, the G-I-V-E. Oh, yeah, another yeah, word. Sure. Okay, so thanks to Manscaped. Could we'll obviously talk about this more. We'll make another segment in the video. We will be giving away a lawnmower 4.0 performance package. Yep. It comes with pretty much everything you need. How do you want to... I um, I think uh, we're kind of doing some behind-the-scenes talk on the podcast right now, but... Yeah, we might have to. Get why some not? people behind the scenes yeah, yeah, of what yeah. happens. Uh, so this is uh, all right. Well, before we do this, this is going to be a really like raw conversation because yeah. we haven't talked about how we're going to do the giveaway. But what are you thinking? I think to enter and for you guys, I think it should be as easy as possible. Yeah. All you have to do is just comment on TikTok and make sure you're following. Really? I think that's it to get as Damn. many people in. That's a good idea. We could also do like I was thinking if we want to bring more interaction from TikTok to YouTube, what we could do is we could um, have people like DM us. A screenshot of them following us on YouTube to be entered. That's smart too. So, something either like one, that. something like that. Yeah, it'll be it'll be fully announced sooner or later. I'm um, crime rate Kev. Tough, <laughs> but so yeah, giveaway coming soon. Yeah, it'll be announced sometime soon. Um, really soon, probably next week. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah! Get ready for the Christmas holiday season. Yeah, we're actually gonna be also decorating uh the uh studio studio um. <laughs> So give us suggestions of what we should do. We're definitely doing a Christmas tree. Um, shout out Manscaped. They already sent us some products to put under the tree. We're going to decorate it up all nice. It's going to be really cool. Uh, so I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Very cool. So. When should we do that? When, when do you think is an appropriate time to start dressing up the studio? This holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to my friends over at Manscaped. The leaders in Below the Waist Grooming have blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner table topic. Everyone loves turkey and stuffing, but you'll be looking like dessert thanks to Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. Trim your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and using code 03FM at checkout for free shipping and 20% off. Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features an advanced cutting edge ceramic blade. It is grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. It also gives you the ability to turn the LED spotlight on and off for a more precise shave, plus it's waterproof. Gifting Manscaped is the ultimate hack to become the family favorite. Girls, if you're looking for a gift for your significant other, look no further than manscaped.com. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code 03FM. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using code 03FM. Be thankful this holiday season from the best gifts of all from Manscaped. Your, your balls, balls will thank you. you. When do you think is an appropriate time to start dressing up the studio? 
because like part of me the day after Thanksgiving, in my okay. opinion, that's valid. But also since we're on a once a week format, yeah. earlier as possible, so more people see our beautiful set that we put this time into. Maybe next week. <laughs> okay. Should we vlog us setting it up? I think that'd, that'd be, be fun. Yeah. yeah. Like going out and getting the stuff. That'd be so cool. Yeah. I think I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of opportunities that we have at the moment. We also got a third mic, which is something to announce. So guests are going to be coming very soon. But um, I'm not going to give away too much, but I have a potential guest that uh, is really dope. We have a really close connection to. I don't think I told you about this. So I don't this know is who like super about. crazy to you as well. Um, super close connection to. He's a business owner, um, like actually runs like a big business. Oh, and shit. it's going to be dope. And we're going to be in their office oh, damn. doing a podcast with someone. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. <laughs> no surprises. <laughs> Kevin's so curious. Um, but yeah, there was, was there anything you wanted to cover today? I have a couple topics that I've had for weeks. Yeah, I was going to I don't really. Uh, the Deji versus Floyd Mayweather fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I covered on with the clip, but I guess I could talk about it for a little bit because yeah, yeah. I watched more of the fight again. It was so stupid in my opinion. That's, I'm, I'm fine. I love YouTuber boxing mm. and like people like Jake Paul and Logan Paul fighting. To, but they're actually doing good for the sport. Yeah. F- Jake Paul said it best. Floyd Mayweather is ruining boxing right now to pay his taxes because he's taking these bullshit fights. He was like, so the fight was in Saudi Arabia or Saudi Arabia. I said it wrong the last episode, <laughs> but the event slaughtered. was so bad. I was watching it illegally. I will. I'll just straight up confess. Yo. So, but still, it, it was such a boring event. It was there was no energy in the bit like. The only lights that were being shown were right on the stage and like LEDs in the stands. It was so boring and uneventful. Hmm. Jake Paul's actually hilarious though because he was picking at Tommy Fury the whole time. And the people that were there was actually ridiculous. I don't know if Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate were there. Jake was there. KSI was there. All the sidemen were there. Tommy Fury was there. And so was John Fury, Tommy Fury's dad, who Jake Paul almost fought. Yeah, they, I saw they got in like. A tussle, and then yeah, wasn't the Tommy sh- Fury Hulk. calling out Jake Paul? Yeah. And they, then apparently Andrew Tate got in Jake Paul's yeah, face. Yeah, it was Jake Paul wanted to fucking fight everyone yeah. the other night, which was ridiculous. Why do you think he didn't fight Tommy Fury on the spot? Well, because, t- okay, so Tommy Fury, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, they tried fighting before, and then Tommy Fury backed out, or there was, like, legality issues of him yeah. getting to the United States, which all he had to do, supposedly, was go to the embassy, mm-hmm. and he could come over to the United States and fight. Mm-hmm. But... He, right after his fight with, I don't know, some nobody, I think, Jake was on the sidelines, literally screaming like, you suck, Tommy Fury. <laughs> it, was actually, it was so funny. Yeah. But then he went to climb under the ropes, and he kind of stopped himself, and Who, then Jake? Tommy Fury. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, the ski mask keeps falling down. He stopped himself, and then the security guards pulled him back. So it looks like he didn't even want to fight. And then Jake's just like, Bring it on. He's just standing there unscathed. He wants to fight Shit him. talking and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Chirping. I bet he's probably saving himself, though, when they can actually get, like, a venue and bring a lot of hype to it. Because they could make, literally, they if they fought on the spot, they could have made, like, ten times the more amount of money. Yeah, but I think even, I thought, in my opinion, if Tommy Fury jumped out of the ring and, like, just punched Jake in the face, that would have gone That would have, viral video would have been way better marketing for the fight. But I think Tommy Fury is just scared. Yeah. He doesn't want to fight Jake. Damn. That's crazy. But yeah, the event was sucked. Floyd Mayweather was dancing, dodging the punches. I saw Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather was like purposely missing. Yeah, the it was it was such a stupid fight. And then That's it was like the whole he was doing weird. nothing. He was going like Really? Like dancing and then like purposely missing. And then the last the first twenty seconds of the seventh round, I don't think he missed a punch or stopped mm-hmm. punching, and then the ref just called the fight right away because of the technical knockdown. Mm-hmm. So it was it was just stupid. My friend has the. This is good for the podcast. Okay. ARs, SMGs, the melees, and I don't know, but he's like Damn, and battle works. rifles is what he's working. He has one more battle rifle left. That's crazy. But I have ARs, half the snipers, the SLR, and the MP7. But we we could actually talk about MW too. Oh so yeah. So you've been playing. I got to play finally. Um, and it's my first COD since. Damn, a while. I haven't played in a, in a minute. The last um, game I vividly remember playing with you is MW2019. Yeah. Me, you, and Chase. Yeah. Myopi. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, still yeah. run Myopi, by the way. Oh, that's tough. Um, but yeah, that, my first caught in a really long time, low key. And I hopped on the on the keyboard and mouse and was cranking. It's um, so much fun. It's a good game. It's low key the revival of COD, I think. Uh, it's done. 
It's the highest, as far as I know, I could be totally wrong. It's the highest grossing Call of Duty of all time. Damn. It's made over $800 million, and it came out, it's not even Christmas time yet, and yeah. that's when games double in profit. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's just like dope. The campaign, I've heard, is really great. Campaign's is 10 out of 10. Yeah. Multiplayer is 8.9 out of 10. Yeah. I mean, some maps, right, that some people don't There's like. There's issues. People hate the border crossing map. I yeah. have no issue with it. I yeah, actually I like either. it because it's just one lane combat. There is a lot. Warzone 2 comes out. Wednesday. Yeah, so the yeah. day after tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I'm, I'm a huge Battle Royale player. Yeah. Apparently DMZ, which is like Escape That's from Tarkov, dope. which I'm really excited about. And I want to touch on Shroud a little bit. Shroud? Who we used to be big fans of. I haven't heard of. that name in a minute. I think he wow. is just some cranky old dude now because every time he gets invited to an event, all he does is just make fun of and complain about what the game is doing. Like he was just playing really? DMZ. He said the best part about the whole game was extracting so the game would be over. He's just always complaining about stuff. He's, I actually watched his stream for the first time a couple of weeks ago, mm. and it was just so boring. What is he streaming on now? Still Twitch? Twitch, yeah. He's just so he's boring. He's Is he ever going to fucking retire? He's like 50 at this point. It, how old is he actually? I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up real quick. He is. Um, but OG Shroud was the PUBG Shroud was PUBG and like C- so good. Like CS:GO PUBG Shroud. Yeah. But now he's just. I remember you killing him. It oh, was. Yeah. It was in. Um, I know exactly what. He's where only 28. It was. He's only twenty eight. What? He low key looks like late thirties. Yeah. There's no way he's only twenty eight. But yeah, Shroud. He was. I remember when you killed him. We freaked out on pub. That was cool. That was a fun. That was a fun night. Yeah, that was a, that was a really good time. And wait, didn't he have? He dropped like merch at one point or something. He has coffee. Merch. He has like oh a cold coffee. Food. That's yeah. What, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It was kind of, of ass. I bought it. Really? Yeah, because that's when the iconic shroud goes to Walmart video came out of him just on the hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's jokes. But yeah, cranky fuck old shroud video now. game. Yeah, fuck <laughs> shroud. Damn. I. Hey man. To each their own. But maybe he's uh maybe he's at his breaking point. Maybe he's he just, just always straight face, not entertaining, complaining. Yeah. So do you think, because I feel, I mean, me personally, maybe not for everyone, video games, Loki, have been lacking the past few years. Do you think this COD is like a revival of that? Not only the revival yes. of COD, but the revival of video games in general? I think so, yes, because there's a lot of people I've been seeing. I don't know about the total revival. It's definitely like a little bit of a resurgence mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. the enjoyment of video games because there's a lot of people like streamers that are not normally Call of Duty players getting on to Call of Duty. So it's definitely making stuff a little bit more entertaining. Yeah. The game is really fun. And I've seen thousands of TikTok clips about it. So people are playing it. And I guess people are having fun. Yeah. Are you going to play DMZ? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'm looked- probably not going to go on multiplayer after I get Orion, the mastery camo. Because uh, I'll just play Warzone and DMZ. Yeah. Warzone, I heard new map. That's going to be tough. And it, it apparently has every, if not oh, yeah. every, but the pri- most... Oh my god. <laughs> you got this. Most of the OG Modern Warfare maps I, like, like Rust, Dome, Rust, that's tough. Hi, Sk- High Rise, I think is it High Rise or Sky Rise? High Rise, High Rise okay. Um I think uh, there's a bunch of other ones, but they're all going to be in different spots of the map, which is going to be and they're also a little bit different. I know like Dome, mm. the dome from the map Dome yeah. isn't see you can't see it yet because the dome is going to be an interactive thing you can use. So what? I'm assuming it's going to open and like a fucking orbital missile will come out or something like that, which would be pretty cool. That's sick. I'm so, I if if Warzone drops on Wednesday, um for the people watching this, this is after. So people Oh will shit, know. that's right. Yeah. Um but for me, if Warzone's good, I'm definitely getting a console and buying my Does if anyone I th- we, I don't know, we think we talked about this. Jake has PC like fucking blow up basically. Yeah, my PC just sucks, bro. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a new one, but it's low key a deep investment. And I don't know, like an Xbox, for instance, isn't too but bad. But also, could the investment be a positive investment because you can edit on and stuff like that? True. Because my computer is my most like I game possession. on that. I make my videos on that. I edit the podcast on it. Yeah. Well, I've been I've been enjoying the MacBook workflow low key, just because for school as well. Yeah. And it's easy to ring around, so I'll probably stick on that. I don't know. We'll see though. Just get one monitor, a PC, and that's yeah. all you need. Part of me though, like I've been so busy, I wouldn't even be able to get. Let me restart. I would what about over the to, summer, though? Over the summer, I'd be able to grow. And in the winter when it's, like, 20 degrees out, you're snowed in. Yeah. And I get, like, winter breaks, so mm-hmm. um, that would be a vibe. 
So we'll see. Maybe maybe some uh, Call of Duty videos. Oh, 3FM, 1v1s on COD. Dude, that would be so fun. Bringing us back into the video game realm. That like, would be sick. Yeah, we play here and there, but Not, bringing back the OG That'd be days. so much fun. Oh, my yeah. God. Plus, Xbox is doing an integration with Discord now. I saw I saw PlayStation, which I didn't hear about Xbox, but I'm not... Yeah. I said that in, like, 2018, mm-hmm. that Discord should be in, like, PlayStation and Xbox parties. It makes yeah. no sense that it's not. Well, I think... So, from my understanding, I don't know if this is fully correct, but apparently Discord has an integration with um, Xbox already, but you have to go on your phone, and then you, like, send it to your Xbox, and then it'll connect That's you just... through there. And PlayStation's the same right now. But Xbox is coming forward, and you could do it directly on the console now. That makes so much more sense. You should just be able to just open Discord and yeah. join a call. I wish this, I wish that's been around for like a really long time. But I, I could see how like legality issues. And yeah, it's it's probably a massive, like payment wise. Yeah. Um. So one of my topics. This I mean this one's gonna be quick. I don't think we can okay. talk about this for long. But it connects to video games. So I've been seeing videos of um Among Us VR. <laughs> what have you not seen these no. videos oh my god so i guess i don't know if among us vr is new or what but dude these videos are so funny because among us obviously like the demographic and the fan base for that game is like younger kids like three to five <laughs> like three to five um not probably i mean probably like five like to like five to twelve twelve yeah <laughs> probably five to twelve um but it's all these kids going into these lobbies and i saw this one video of a guy um I mean, probably like our age, and he, he was like screaming and chasing after a kid, and the kid started crying, and he was like, "Help, help!" <laughs> and he was like, "He was like, mom, mom!" Like, bro, could have just <laughs> taken off the headset. It's not. Um, it's not just a VR. It's <laughs> it's real life. <laughs> but I'm surprised you haven't seen them. They're like blowing up. No. Funny as hell. So maybe we'll have to play Among Us VR once. We'll o- o- O3FM play Among Us VR. Yeah, just to hop in the video really quick. Did we talk about this earlier that we wanted to expand? Or did, was we briefly that just spoke page? about it last episode. Okay, so um, just for some reference, Kevin and I want to expand out and do some more content. So if you have any ideas, comment down below. Please let us know because we want to try stuff like reactions, interviews, not yeah. just like podcast interviews, but like going up to people. Yeah. So let us know what you want us to try. Or if you want any guests on the podcast. And it has to be like realistic, yeah. obviously. Like we're like, not getting Elon Musk on. <laughs> but if you want like Justin Bieber or Joe Rogan, we could probably work that out. Yeah, we could probably slide that. Our connection through Manscaped, you know, easy. Oh, on it. <laughs> I wish. Could you imagine Elon Musk came on? He just sits he down. He just sits down and he parks in your room in the cold. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Kevin and I were talking about that because um, the studio right now is in my basement. And so, if we ever do get, like, a serious guest on, could you imagine? I'd have to send him my address. <laughs> and we'd have to, like, lo- walk them in past the dogs. Yeah. And right into the basement. My mom's, like, store. making dinner yeah. upstairs. Do you want any snacks, Elon? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're just eating your fucking quips and chips and guac. Yeah. I think if we ever got, like, somebody that at that caliper, which obviously w- we wouldn't wear our current, uh, like, stances. Never say never. Never say never. Um, how would you, like, react I don't know. It depends who it is, honestly. I feel like I'd just be like bugging. I mean, tripping off the z, tripping off the zaza. I don't know. Well, I think first off, I'd be speechless, and I, I just like choke up, low key. Like if I had to, I'm trying to think. Like out of all the people on the planet that we could interview, that I would probably be the most like. Fuck, it would be Post Malone because he's like Post Malone. I'm a crazy. massive fan of him, so I'd just be fucking. I'd be like starstruck yeah. when I found out. And then if I had to sit down, I'd be like, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't know what to say. All right. Put that on the O3FM bucket list. Um, we got to start a bucket list. Oh, for sure. I have a cool pic. I have a, oh, something I want to tell you about after, but it's like a bucket list picture that I want to take. Oh, yeah. So I'll tell, I'll tell you about I'll it go. after. For sure. Um, do you have any more topics you want to talk about? I got quite a few, honestly. I think so let's just go through yours. I can keep running. Yeah. Um, all right. This one, also, wait, I want to, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I want you to come up with topics because people always clown. They're like, the blonde kid's brain dead. Yeah, I know. Because it's like, but you don't have the topic. So obviously you're not going to, yeah, people yeah, make yeah. fun of it for just anything. So yeah. hopefully they'll make, make fun of me. <laughs> no, definitely not. They're not going to. No matter what, I get hated <laughs> Don't make on. fun of him. Make fun of me. No I want to be made what, fun of. I want to be a joke. I will get hated on. <laughs> but I, I, I love it. It's low-key fuel. Like, I don't give a fuck. Literally, somebody could say some shit to my face, and I'd be like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck with um, this." Because I don't know. I feel like 
the more people hate, the better. Well, a be- the better we do. Um, but the more it makes me like want to like be like fuck you. Yeah. Prove um, them wrong. So it's a constant. I don't know. It's a constant grind, and yeah, to prove them wrong. Mm-hmm. T- um. Fuck, I was about to say something, but I forgot. Uh, we'll jump into one of my other topics. I have some, I have some like stupid topics, but I also have some like good ones. All right, so I'll, I'll hop into this one. This one's kind of, uh, it's related to a topic we talked about uh, a couple episodes back. So remember, Saudi Arabia? Did I say that right? Is it Saudi or Saudi? Definitely. I'm gonna just say Saudi. 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 Part of the Saudi. <laughs> um, Saudi Arabia. They were building the line, and we talked about this a couple episodes ago. I think. Which is like a super crazy project, and here I'll show you really quick. They got some haven't drone they, footage. Haven't they started it building? Actually, it? yeah, it's actually starting to get worked on. So they brought out um, all these big uh, dump trucks and shit, and now they're working on it. It's like crazy. That's wild. Um, so yeah, they're starting that, and bro, I just wanted to run it back. It, it's literally like the sto- It's like some Maze Runner shit. Some yeah, dystopian cyberpunk esque. Yeah. Um and I think the craziest part is that they're not really gonna industrialize the line. Like they're gonna keep it super like environmental. Yeah, isn't it like eco friendly system like yeah. that? It's ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so I wrote some stuff that was in um uh one of the uh, articles and it says it's gonna be hundred and five miles long, hundred percent run on renewable energy. Damn. How are they gonna do that, bro? It's actually um, the end of the world bunker. Yeah. And they also said it's gonna have all sorts of goods and services amended by the terms AI and AI powered. Some, it's actually fucking cyberpunk. It's literally <laughs> Ready Player One. Yeah. Because right. they live in a vertical world in the trailers. Ready Player One, Blade Runner 2049. You ever see that movie? I've watched parts of it. You want to know something crazy? I watched that movie in Lake George. Oh, damn. When we were there. That's cool. I, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it. It's a really good movie. Um, And there's... uh, I think that... Yeah, so it also says there's going to be giant mirrored walls... Which, like, you probably oh, saw. Doesn't that help pictures. to, like, it looks more like a natural landscape? Yeah. I mean, Until a fucking bird flies into it. But, bro, yeah, what happens when it cracks? Does the whole yeah. thing just, like... <laughs> that's like Sandy's dome from Spongebob. <laughs> 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 They're building fucking Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> um, Just some more context. It's going to be 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide, and full of lush vegetation imagine if they forget to put like drain points so when it rains it just fills up with water <laughs> everyone like drowns everyone's like swimming. everyone just rises to the top dude i just live in like a boat and it would just rise uh, in like water. a minecraft boat and just levels you up like a kayak yeah. or some shit like that all right so situationally let's say this becomes like i'm not actually, living in it if that's what you're gonna ask what you're gonna ask if i would live in it well i'm not gonna say the one necessarily in saudi arabia but let's say like the world starts to find out that these lines are the new and progressive way of living. Would you... What like a line it? of coke. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't make that connection for a second. But would you live in one of these lines, for instance? No. You couldn't? I'm, I'm like a property man. I need to be on like an open uh, space. Fast. It's like I'd rip a side by side down the <laughs> sidewalk in front of my house. Probably not. Would yeah. you? Mm, nah. Probably not. I feel like... Unless like, I don't know. Because I don't know then, what the stipulation like would have pick, to be. like this one specifically, that fucking 105 miles. Yeah, that's a long distance. But that's 105 miles is your only life. Yeah, like you can't go. You can't travel to another part because it's in the middle of the desert. Yeah, you can't really. And if something like, what if the, like the bubonic plague comes back? Where the fuck are you gonna go? You're fucked. <laughs> I'm serious. That's a genuine threat <laughs> no. to the line. Diseases, yeah. Because they can't be. walk outside and just walk. what are they gonna do? Get stranded in the desert? Yeah. And they get eaten by a fucking anaconda. <laughs> Is there anacondas in the Saudi Arabian desert? I don't know. I don't live there. So. <laughs> We're about to find out. Someone in the comments probably fucking. Their great grandfather placed the first ever anaconda, so we're gonna get ridiculed now. <laughs> Yo, Loki, though the side men or like Mr. Beast is gonna do like a video there, being like hide it, pl- playing hide and seek in the, in the line. line. <laughs> but yeah, absolute genius. That actually does sound ridiculous. Like calling it the line. That's I, I straight fuck with that. out of a movie. I know. I was I was just about to like say that. that twenty eighty two movie or something like that. This is a straight movie, dude. You look at. Like last hungry. night was a movie. Last night was a movie. <laughs> this weekend was a movie. We did the line. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wait. What was I again? Oh yeah, yeah. It's it, Loki is like a movie. Cause do you know? Um. I think was it. 
Wow, that was a long silence. Hunger Games part Mockingjay part one. Have you watched all the Hunger Games yeah. movies? Which one are you talking Do about? Do you remember the one where they have to live underground oh, so that, that the district doesn't find them? It's got to be one shit. of the last ones. Yeah, it's one of the last like the, ones. I think there's three. There's so like probably, a rebellion building. I think it's either... Okay, let's think of the storyline for which would make the most sense. I would say that that either happens at the end of the second or the beginning of the third. And then the third th- is the rebellion coming back and attacking. Yeah. I think it's the second to last movie. Somewhere in the second to last movie. But... Um, it's it's low key like that. Like I, maybe mm, it's weird though because I feel like you'd get a sense of living underground almost. How wide is it again? Um, Not how long, just how wide. Two hundred meters wide. How long is that? <laughs> two hundred meters, two feet. Will Will that give you a good? Yeah. Six hundred fifty feet. That's I should have known that. Not far at all. Six hundred fifty feet. It's not that far, but if you think society's living within that line, think about it like when you drive by one of these big Amazon warehouses, like those are bigger than 650 feet. That's in width. How long's a football field? How many feet is a football field? Hundred. It's a hundred yards. So that's 300 feet. 300. So it's two football fields. You could put a fucking roof over the whole thing. You could. And then you're basically are underground. Whole society's underground. It's weird. I don't think it would thrive. What if a bird flew perfectly and just had like a diarrhea and just pooped down the whole fucking... <laughs> it just d- demolishes a city. <laughs> I also wonder... Bro, have you ever watched Star Wars? I'm making all these movie references today. <laughs> What's like, good with me? Parts of here and there. Yeah, there's... I forget which movie it was. That like the Death Star, there's only like a perfect chamber that if they drop a bomb into the whole thing explodes. Oh yeah! Imagine that's like the line, like you drop some like a pin. Wait, into, just, like, yeah, just bomb Saudi Arabia. Just confess to bombing Saudi Arabia on. The I podcast. didn't say that. Yes, but you did. I didn't. You referenced that. All right. Well, I'm gonna get killed now. Yeah. Apparently, because like anyone's gonna watch this far into the podcast. <laughs> they are. What's the? Let's put a. Make a thing, Kevin. Make a secret word. Oh, I thought you were gonna do a timestamp. <laughs> no. Make a secret word. White shoe. White, White shoe. shoe is a secret word. White shoe is a secret word. I think we're we're good on that. I'll see it eventually. Okay. Um, White shoe is the secret word if you're watching. I wonder if anyone is. On the episode where we um did the secret codes, actually people were commenting the secret word. Yeah. Which is dope. I noticed that. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that more. That's really good looks. It's good looks. And it's it's nice to give back, you know? Um, even if it's a word, a word, a, code. Yeah, a, a word or a code. Yeah. Uh, I think I have some more topics. I got to go back. I say let's do one more and keep this one kind of shorter. Cause it was really good in my opinion. Oh, this episode. This episode yeah. 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 <laughs> Bro's got the ski mask. How do we not address this yet? <laughs> we don't have to. All right. We don't address I'm gonna, this. I'm going to sit the rest like this. Um, I, I, all right, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. Um, so. Theory, conspiracy theory. People think that we're living in a simulation, mm-hmm. and there's no way to tell if we're living in a simulation, right? What is what's your stance on this conspiracy theory? Because I'm indifferent about it. Like, like obviously we can't know if we're gonna be in in a. I honestly, I think we're living in a real like real world, but I would not be surprised if we were in a simulation. Yeah. It's very, I mean, it's very possible. It's very, even Elon like, Musk said it's a very good possibility we're living yeah. in simulation. Because if you, think, I feel like there's just so many like. Think about the chance that Earth, for example, is the only place that the only planet we know we're fucking on it. We're not that lucky. Yeah. So the chance that so much stuff and like the Big Bang theory that rocks came together and <laughs> built the world we live. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> even Pangria, like that does. Or, <laughs> Sorry, sangria. sangria. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's so funny. The sangria. Um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I, I don't really... I guess we we could talk about it a lot, I think. What, sangria? No, like living in a simulation. But there, honestly, there's no point in doing it because you're, you, just, you will never know. You will never unless know. Unless you die. I mean, maybe we will know. I think if we ever get to a point where we can create something so meticulous to what we have and replicate it as a simulation, then I think we would be living in a simulation. But I only will quote that if and if or when we recreate something like yeah. that. Yeah. Honestly, I think the stepping stone for that 
is VR. Oh, yeah. 100%. And that's within the next couple years. Because think about over time how fast society has moved a specific thing in, like, advance that they needed to. Like, the space race, for example. Mm -hmm. We – think about how fast – we got from being just getting off the ground to getting into space. Yeah. Like the time between it took us to make a plane and then from making a plane to being in space. So if we needed to, we could probably make a realistic virtual reality within a couple of years. And um, I think like technology is growing at an exponential rate. Like oh, it's that. Yeah, so straight up. It's, it's only growing faster and faster every day, which is kind of weird mm -hmm. in a way. But it's also, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. good. But it's exactly like Ready Player One. Once you're you're able to put on a headset, it's gonna be like crazy, and you, then yeah. you're just like in a completely separate world that you genuinely feel. One is thing real. that just popped in my head that really made me think of this, and yeah, it, we have to watch two YouTube videos. But it's I was going back and I was watching the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two 2022 trailer with Jess, mm -hmm. and then I went back and watched the Ghost trailer because that's my favorite Call of Duty. Yeah, and even if you look at the graphics, like if you wouldn't mind just going for like a couple seconds oh, yeah, for sure. and just can like watch the Ghost one first. God, and this is just Ghost between trailer. like 2013 and little, little Ghost 2022. Action. Yeah, like, like bro, you that's see the crazy. graphics, and then we'll go to the Modern Warfare 2022 trailer. That's crazy. Wait, I, I just want to like, that does not look good at all. And then go like a little bit in to the video. To Ghost? Yeah. Just go to like any, like you see the characters and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if we go to this one. Oh yeah, this trailer was insane. Right? Yeah. And then just go to any part in the trailer. Like already. Holy this, shit. This, there's parts of this trailer where like, there's a scene specifically of Ghost where he looks at you and it's ridiculous how fucking real it can look that's like look crazy. at this easy is it i think it's right here it's got to be right here yo like if you're kind of drunk that is fucking real <laughs> that's <life>. real <laughs> so um, even in the last nine years you can see how much games have changed yeah drastically that's like I don't know. That's scary to me. Yeah. Cause think another I, ten years. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember Ghost. I remember Ghost being like on top. Uh, well, obviously at the time it's, it was on the top, but Ghost low key for me was like a really li realistic game. Yeah. But comparing the that, two is insane. horrible. Like at that, that time you thought this was ridiculous. Now, yeah. Even like PUBG. I'm sure if we looked at PUBG. Oh my god. It was fucking <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, low key. Oh, but talking about this, this is why I brought up the simulation topic and this is how it now relates to Minecraft. Okay. So, and this is what runs in my head on a normal like commute to class or some <laughs> shit. Um, I was thinking about the simulation talk cuz I was talking to one of my friends about it and then all of a sudden I was thinking of Minecraft. And bro, what if Minecraft was like simulation? So there's these people living in an alternate reality or world or whatever that control our, our simulation, but it's like a video game to them, and they type in a seed, That'd and then they go so into this sick. world. Like, how... That's honestly not that unrealistic. Like, there's some right? spaceship up there, and there's this kid with, like, these wires connect. Honestly, not even wires. <laughs> they just have a fucking headset on. Yeah. Isn't that, that weird is to ridiculous. think about? That is ridiculous. We are playing Minecraft. But, bro, <laughs> the kid that built this world is going crazy bro, right he's now. He's going wild. He put in some fuck shit into the code. Oh, yeah. But, like when I was when I had this thought, you know, when you you're about to click create new world, it gives you all the options like hardcore mode and all that. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. Like that's fucking crazy. Like world difficult. If that is the true case, there are some fucked up people in that spaceship. If you <laughs> think about what goes on yeah. on this world, yeah. But then um, you might have worlds that are like peaceful world and everything is perfect and it's like a utopia. I don't yeah, know, it's just a weird. That thought. is weird. Yeah. <laughs> that funny. I'm losing my mind. Um. You bugging off a perky. Though? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I, it was a good one. The ski mask isn't coming off this episode? No, and I don't uh, think it's going to come off ever, ever. again. <laughs> I did. I think I did so much better with the ski mask. I'm not Co even kidding. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Covert Ops, Kevin. <laughs> what else? Let's come up with a bunch of nicknames. That's so funny. Co-op, Kevin. I don't have any. I don't, I, that's, I, I'm dried <laughs> out. All right. Um. Well, that's been it. Uh, if anybody's made it this far... um. I, what was I gonna say? I don't. I really like, don't. Like, comment, know. subscribe, maybe. Like, comment, subscribe. If you do end up using our code on Manscaped, DM us on Instagram a picture of it, and we'll definitely give you like a shout out. That's awesome. 
Um, but yeah, that's been it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the all the uh, I don't know, just everything. The love okay. we've been getting recently. The love. The hate. The hate. Boost the views. Not as much, but. <laughs> I'll take so, it. So, yeah. Comment yeah. white van if you made it. Th- or was it white shoe? White shoe. White shoe. White comment van. that. That's what my white shoe is my white <laughs> van. <laughs> Don't comment white van. I thought you meant like candy. a physical, <laughs> physical white van. Um, but we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Peace.